How in the heck is it going, everybody? Super, super excited to bring you day two of our three-day fishing bender down in uh, Munising Bay. Pretty, pretty special trip. Not only do I get to spend time with my dad and Wild Bill, who is always a wild time to spend time with, caught our first keeper splake of the season, and it was probably our 50th splake of the season. Burbot fishing was kind of slow, caught a couple. Smelt fishing was not good in smelt standards of last year, but uh, best smelt day so far this year. Not going to ramble on too much. We'll recap this at the end. Without any further ado, here is the video. Thanks a little loose there, William. You got, you got, you got me. Huh? You got me. Hold on. Guarantee it. I'm gonna swim over there. Oh, <laughs> Lord, <have> mercy. <laughs> I got a sucker. That, hey, easy. That is a big fish, dude. How do you know it's a big fish? Because that's the <laughs> stiffest freaking rod I got. You got a fish? Oh, yeah. What is it? A big one. Cool right away. But it's got snagged. <laughs> All right, bud. Yeah. See ya. Thirteen incher, of course. Having a lot of heads. Light taps. That's probably what they were. Oh, okay. On the Tron pilot. Yeah, you got a minnow on there too. Oh, oh yeah. It's a minnow head. You know, half of them. Right. Okay. I really like that kind of little fish. Oh, you got me, or I got one. I, there's a fish involved, but I think I'm involved with your fish too. We'll see here in a second. The bail, I'm gonna do it in a second here. So I that's look. a classic father no, and son no. moment if I've ever saw one. Oh my god, is that a keeper splake? No, yeah. yeah, that's definitely wow. a keeper though. Huh? Holy! He looks like he's about 14 and three quarters. No, lost about, key, lost like about, <laughs> lost about five. Can I get a smelt when you get done handling that too? Yeah, I'm gonna need my burbot rod too. <laughs> it's time to switch up. Huh? I think he's about 17. <laughs> oh, missed the last melt on camera. Oh! Oh, the single hook there. Get that rod over there. You might be getting hit. Oh, I got. Oh. Oh. Oh, swinging a miss. Yep. I was going to say before those two, I was going to say, holy shit, I caught. Two for I'm two for two right now. No, he just even thought it and it ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! Rod holder coming in hot. What did I say about that <laughs> going flying across the shanty? Stick them in on your forehead. That's too much pull. I'm trying to juice around there. Ah, I'm gonna go there. Hey, hey, hey! You still got the fish though. Oh, is that your is that the hibachi rig? Probably put, is this a, this isn't, do you have? No, you can put it down that one. That's probably a better bet. Oh, right down there, it's raining. I'm just safe to put it down Bill's hole. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Bill's catching all the smelt over there. Keep on throwing them under your seat. <laughs> all right, well, Alex is pulling them up left and right. Smelt wagon is in. Can't even keep up with them with the GoPro. We're up to four. I got baggies. You can put them in if you want. That'd probably be a better idea. Oh, that's a decent one. That's your limit, right? <laughs> You're in the water. That's really about all you need to do when the smelts are that thick. You should just drop it halfway down the hole and make them really work for it. This ice is really just not in good conditions for the rods to sit on the ice. Well, I can't put it in the rod holder because then I'm just throwing it across the ice <laughs> shanty at people. Oh, you kidding me? Can't have one more time. <laughs> Of them working on it. 
Only 700 more guys. <laughs> the spirit finger's going over there. Gotta be ready. <laughs> Rather rod. Yeah. Rather rod. This one? This one, yeah. Yeah, it did. Shit. They're playing games with me here. I look over here, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Told you, you got a nice, firm. Captain Limpress is back in the building. I don't think that's a Limpress there. <laughs> it's very firm. Small, world smallest, world smallest bird, but are you freaking kidding this me? Lake. It is, this is a lot of head shaking. This might be a small acre. No, it's just a five inch bird. This is a small bird, but. Laker. Oh, that's a, a I mean, guy. Is that, uh, it wasn't too much. I mean, that was probably the size of that small one you flay. What do you think, Dad? It's skinny, though. It's Let him go. I'll take that as a keep him. <laughs> <laughs> you probably fit right in that bag with a smell. As long as I don't have to clean it. Those <laughs> fish will be happy. Bill, if it goes into your community service hours, I want every every morsel of meat off this one. It'd be about 25 hours. We'll cook them right in the batter with a smelt. Fire the barbecue back up. <laughs> oh, freaking unbelievable. I can't keep that one. I'll go back down good too. He wasn't even bloated at all. I set the hook and that weight on there until I felt head shaking. I'm like, God dang it, my spoon's all wrapped up. Then it started bouncing. I'm like, oh, I got one. All right, one second later, Alex has another smell. Looks like a big one. Can see it head shaking. Nope, it's not a big one. Adventure, top hook. They're, liking, they're not liking the Haley right now. They're liking the other hooks. That looks like a good one. Oh, oh Willie! What is it? Hey! First oh. Lake Superior smelt. I just dropped all these smelts all over the ground. Here, brother. Did you get one? Yeah, I gave one. Here, Dad, take. Here, yeah. catch. Get all those smelt bags. <laughs> catch them. Yeah. Pull your burbot bait off and put that on there. Give me a wax one. Nothing like your first fish of the first <laughs> fish of the last twelve hours you've been out here. <laughs> All right, we finally got some fresh smelt. Putting people on fish. Yeah. It's to be rough occasionally out here. <laughs> oh. That's nice, huh? That is a pretty decent one. Is that a wa is that a walleye? Getting mean. Yeah, I know. A whole bunch of your dead friends are in there. Sorry, bud. <laughs> but that's sorry. Uh oh, I'm gonna hit on this rock too. Oh, shit. You guys are fishing the wrong way, guys. Hmm? Did you need any of the smelt I cleaned up the other? Day. Oh, look at that hook set. Getting mean. Getting mean. I how much snow is going to pile up tonight. Yep, they're hitting those. That's a good one. That's another. Thing. And we'll leave Alex out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you'll hoot and holler. They'll think there's an army out here. Oh, that's another nice one there. Oh, am I going <laughs> to. <laughs> Do you want a smelt fish, Dad? No. There's a smelt rod right there in that case. Oh, double fisting! That one fell off, I think. There. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one there, bud. <laughs> Look at that gut on that girl. I got you here. That's something else there. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. 
Try to make a break for it. That was something else. I got a really old tangled mess. <laughs> Whatever. Worth it. I don't. Why don't they make a Wonder Bread pattern Haley? They do. And then you get like four or five Wonder Bread lead glow teardrops, and you do that as your hib hibachi rig. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> that was almost no more Facebook. Oh, caught the ice there. That was almost exciting. I think I am over here digging myself a little bit of a hole in the bottom. Just pounding away over here on the bottom. Nothing but a 12 inch bourbon to show for it. Swing and a miss. Oh, bless you, William. Oh, God, that was a doozy mess. <laughs> you be okay? Pretty quick. And the old filtration system out. Oh, hog. No, you got him. Da da, da da. They do kind of look like they do kind of look like mini sharks, dude. They're loving those top hooks. Like if they can eat that, I don't know why it matters if it, if anything glows. They are hitting much better tonight than they have in the past nights. We've also caught more in the last hour than we have in the last four times out here, probably. <laughs> we caught, what, 25 last time? Yeah, that was 30? only like, that, but no, two, I think we had two dozen. But that was also over like four hours at least. Let's drop a smelt line though. You have the smaller ones you want. Anything under, seems to be... Under seven. I need, I need a new bag. Here. New bag? Yeah, I'll grab another bag out in preparation. So I'm gonna start showing you how to really catch them. <coughs> Get them, William. There he goes. So much for getting a good night's sleep. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Tighten your drag up there, brother. Yeah, I'm going back bourbon fishing. You don't have to tie me. A, you don't have to tie me a hibachi rig. Feels does it feel good? Melt away. Monster. It looks kind of good. I, I guarantee it's a little bit bigger than. <laughs> oh, oh all right. Let's just put them right in between all three holes. And pray to God that hook stays in there. <laughs> <laughs> the bugger cut off ass first. <laughs> <laughs> that way. Hooked up. Ooh. Mediocre mess. Is that a lake trout? Baby lake trout? Minnow. Minnow. <laughs> oh. They're really liking that top hook. How many you got on there? He Three? He swallowed that one. Yeah, he's on it for three days. <laughs> Well, I was gonna let it load up so I could catch a couple at one time. I still, have, I still have yet to see more than one on the on the hibachi rig. You guys need some? No, I can't. <laughs> Almost though. Keeps on. Just hold it up there a little longer. You'll get them. Where's the real end? Kind of way down too far. You know, just put 10, 15 feet of line out. That's where they're at, right? They're at. They say, says they're <laughs> everywhere. From two foot below the ice to 30 foot below the ice. Right there, William. Get <laughs> 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 <Hit him. laughs> <laughs> Three strikes, you're out, William. <laughs> We can add a new member to Team Limp Rest. I'm captain of the team, I guess. <laughs> Not today, you're doing okay today. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Bird, but it should pick up any minute now. 
Oh, you know, you know what I'm talking about? He's not on there. <laughs> Little baby. Two-inch smells or something. Best thing is, I've caught the two smallest burger this entire trip. Baby. Oh, he's on there. Well, that's a big end. Big end. Close to 30 pounds. Oh. <laughs> The line goes up, the line comes, they come up with it. Yeah, sometimes. Big in! No! Oh! Just whatever it was, been on that top hook, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. We're starting to get tired. We weren't nearly as excited in this video as we have been in uh, in other videos. Probably good for a lot of you guys' eardrums. We weren't screaming like maniacs, but all in all, pretty decent fishing. I'd say like I, like I do in normal videos, like, hey, if you want to go ice fishing, let us know. But unfortunately, season's coming down to an end. You're going to start getting sketchy real quick. Probably hoping to push at another week, maybe week and a half. We're looking at highs in the 40s and 50s. So it is coming, it is coming to an end. Then we got spring walleye, spring bass fishing, actual open water fishing, salmon and trout in Lake Superior as soon as the ice blows out. And finally, finally, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll get to bust the boat out and show you guys something other than us just being idiots in an ice shanty. <laughs> but once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. Leave a comment, we love talking to you guys. And until next time, happy adventures.